takedowns, we need takedowns. My name is Justin Rin. I'm a professional mixed martial arts fighter. When I'm in there, my fight name is The Big Big Me. I had battled with depression for basically 10 full years, from 13 even until I was 23. Once I had an injury with my elbow right here and I was just given narcotics and um, I needed it for the pain, but I enjoyed it because it kind of numbed my depression. And so I battled with addiction for six full years. The drug addiction actually started before I ever had my first fight. It's a roller coaster ride as a fighter. There's some really big highs, there's some really big lows. And so I, I just had an excuse either way. I had been a professional athlete and I had fought on the biggest stage. My childhood dream had become a reality. Um, and yet my life still turned into a nightmare. I had been 11 months sober and 11 months away from professional fighting and I found myself uh, not knowing what I was gonna do with my life. This is Justin Rin here in the middle of Eastern Congo, actually in the middle of a rainforest. A buddy of mine, we just decided to go on what we called a scouting trip, just to go to Congo to meet the pygmies. On one of my first trips there, uh, there's a little boy named Andy Bo, and he was one and a half years old. I came to the village and um, it was either maybe seconds before or right as I picked him up that uh, his body went lifeless. It messed me up, it like gripped my heart. I couldn't imagine that this little boy had died just because of dirty water. And since then I've held two kiddos and helped bury three and been to the funerals of five others and um, it's just because of dirty water. 5,000 children under the age of five die every single day just because of dirty water. <laughs> So that's why I Fight for the Forgotten, we're working for land, water, and food um, for the pygmies in Congo. So that's what I'm trying to use fighting for. That's what the book is. The book is giving them a voice. Uh, when I fight, I get to tell people their story, um, and we get to try to do real life change for them. When I get a win bonus, 100% of my win bonus goes straight to them. So, so far to date, we've been able to do 2,470 acres of land for the pygmies. Uh, two days ago, uh, my team completed the 26th water well. They're getting close to finishing the 27th. We've established 10 new villages, but in three, we already have a successful farming project, and we're going to multiply that. It's been the greatest thing that I could ever be a part of. If I can be the guy that connects the dots between the United States and the Congo, and I get to do that through fighting. My two passions, I get to combine them uh, and just build them up together, and I think that's a, a beautiful thing. Bye.